And tomorrow marks one year since four-year-old Cody Bigsby was reported missing by his father, Corey. Despite dozens of police and community searches, the question still remains, where is Cody? Ten on your side, Aisha Tolliver has been following this case since the beginning at sat down with the Hampton Police Chief to find out where the investigation stands. A chain-linked fence across from the last known location of missing four-year-old Cody Bigsby still dangles with symbols of love and hope. I'm just full of emotion with a missing child because it's a child, an innocent child that adults are supposed to take care of these children and they're helpless. Nearly 365 days ago, on January 31st, Cody was reported missing from his Hampton home in the Buckrow Point apartments by his father, Corey Vigsby. But it wasn't long before investigators said his story wasn't adding up. Hampton Police Chief Mark Talbot says he's dealt with hundreds of missing people throughout his career, and this one sticks with him. My deputy chief calls me on the phone and says, we have a missing uh, four-year-old, and he described uh, what we knew at that point very early on within a few minutes of, of getting the call, and he knew at that point something's different here. We're going to need to put more resources into this case. After countless searches and interviews, police still say Corey is the only person of interest in Cody's disappearance. We become intimately familiar with the trauma that he experienced while he was living, the kind of deprivation that he experienced in his short life. It's deeply traumatic. Corey is in jail on alleged child neglect charges and court officials are waiting for a second mental health evaluation to move forward with the trial. An open court for those charges, officials presumed Cody dead months into the investigation. He's not charged with the death of Cody Bigsby, but it's certainly related. I, I don't want to pretend like it has nothing to do with it because there's a really good chance we never would have met him other than uh, Cody Bigsby goes missing. Do we anticipate more happening? Absolutely. But without a body or confession, many are still wondering why investigators believe Cody is dead. Being alive leaves traces on the world. If he were alive, I think we would know it. And, and if there's no evidence of a human being, especially under these circumstances, he can't care for himself, he would have to be in the care of somebody else. There's no evidence of that. There never was from the very start. Dead or alive, the community is relentless in their organized searches with the same gumption they had a year ago. We haven't stopped searching for Cody. I, in my opinion, still believe that he is still here. But at this point, with new developments in the investigation under wraps, is there more people should know? Are they wasting their time? We searched every location that we thought reasonably could be the spot of some evidence for his remains. I don't think they're, they are wasting their time. I also do not think it's likely that they will find anything useful. Chief Talbot says they are not giving up. He gets a briefing every week and has since the start of this case. We are always doing something. We've done a lot that we can't talk about. Ultimately, the work that we have done and will continue to do is leading somewhere very important. In Hampton, I'm Aisha Tolliver, 10 on your side.